Hey cats, Ed Midsole Bud here. Lots of bargains around right now if you're in need of some new running footwear. I've collated together all of the best deals that I found in mid-February. Let's get to it, my footwear friends. Thanks for joining me on the channel, Ed Bud here. It's really appreciated that you've tuned in. Do help us out to keep on growing by hitting that subscribe button and clicking the bell below for notifications if I launch those new videos for you. It really does help the channel too to get us out to new viewers if you give this video a thumbs up like and also share it with your running buddies. Right, let's get to those footwear savers. This is all the best deals that I found in the middle of February 2023. First up over at Nike, until the 20th of February, there's a 25% off if you buy two full priced items. The selection is a little slimmed. There are a few exceptions to this one, but there are loads of really good running shoes in that deal right now. You can grab the likes of the Nike Tempo or the Tempo Next Percent as it used to be known. Within that deal, making it a much more alluring purchase from the 180 Earth Credit retail price. I think it's 180, it might be even more than that actually. Also the viewer favorite Pegasus Trail four Gore-Tex model is in there too that could come in handy just as a good winter walking shoe the Vaporfly next percent two is also part of that deal though Nike have only got a few different colorways up on the website right now I think with the imminent release of the Vaporfly next percent three they're slimming down the stock if you're after the Vaporfly next percent two you're probably better off heading to sportshoes.com or maybe even Keller Sports as well. They've got a variety of different sizes and colors in stock all around about the 150 Earth credit sort of price. I think it's a little bit easier to swallow 150 quid. You can kind of just about justify maybe getting another pair. Not that I'm trying to justify that to myself at all. I've got far too many shoes to worry about another pair of Vaporflies. The other shoe at the moment with some significant discounts which I really feel you need to test out if you haven't done so already, is the Saucony Endorphin Pro 3. The early release colorways always seem to get discounted first, and that is no exception here. I found the Prospect Quartz style is down to about 165 Earth credits. You can check out the likes of Running Expert, and I think it's also Start Fitness as well, have that colorway in stock at a discount price. Be quick though, these shoes do not stand around very long. There were some even better deals on this one, but those quickly sold out. I think there was one place with them about 125 pounds, which is nuts. It's a really good Vaporfly alternative. The Endorphin Pro 3 is a smashing shoe. Test it out if you haven't done so yet. If maximum cushion though is your chief priority and you are a lady, you could go for the Alpha Fly Next Percent 2. Nike have got that discounted right now to 162 Earth credits over on their website. Sadly though, only smaller sizes in stock as of the making of this video. Sizes two, three to five and a half are all they've got left. So if you've got smaller feet, you can get a much larger discount here. It's about a hundred pounds off the retail, which is bonkers really. Considering the shoe didn't really come out all that long ago. We're heading to Puma now for some deals. Sports Direct have a small discount on the superb Deviate Nitro 2. That big warehouse store. Is it still owned by Mike Ashley? Probably not. Maybe. I don't know. They have the plated Nitro Elite equipped shoe at 110 Earth credits in both the yellow and gold version along with the darker black and white version too. I find the Deviate Nitro 2 superb for loads of different session types. It's not one of those shoes you just dig out for a specific thing. You can use it for practically anything. It could work as a daily shoe, also for some speed sessions and also if you're going to do some of those longer, slower runs. It's got that plate there so it's a little bit more stabilised than some of the sort of max cushion plateless models. Just a slightly plusher upper then it's sort of big brother the deviate nitro elite an exceptionally durable outsole design so it'll last the test of time too i think at 110 earth credits it's a good bet for any runner's shoe rotation start fitness have got the very overlooked and often underrated puma deviate nitro elite this one's still on offer at 85 earth credits people why is it still there i think they've got a couple of different versions of this one two different colorways lots of different sizes available right now despite the fact that the midsole stack isn't maxed out it's still a very cushioned ride really forgiving as well i find it great after long runs don't be put off by the stack height police on this one really they're 
sending you down the wrong path easily enough there for a half marathon or a marathon too. I think the Puma DV8 Nitro Elite 2 is getting a bit of a hard time as well from some people. There's a couple of reviews that mentions it's like not cushioned enough or whatever. Heaven knows how much cushion some of these people want. Grab the DV8 Nitro Elite over at Start Fitness now, 50% off. If you're after something that's got a nice reliable cushion you can use on a daily basis, you can't go too far wrong from the Puma Velocity Nitro 2. No stiffness of a plate there, but you've got more rubber underfoot and now only at 50 pounds. You can't beat that for a daily shoe. 50 quid is fantastic. Multiple colorways of this Puma shoe now out there. It's a very good Pegasus-like alternative. Perhaps if the React of the Nike model is just a bit too firm and you don't like that inconsistent air unit usage there, you sometimes get in the Pegasus model. There's two different sections of the foam that make up that shoe, a softer section on top of a firmer, more stable element. Worth checking out for 50 Earth credits if you ask me over at Start Fitness. I normally find Adidas, the three stripe brand, quite a logical sort of manufacturer, but the latest update to the Takumi Sen series kind of perplexes me a little bit. It really is like a Sen 8.5 rather than a nine. As such, I think you should pick up what discount deals you can on the Sen 8. That shoe is fantastic now and even better value with all these discounts. Start Fitness have this striking orange version for just under £100 now. That's a nice £70 saving from the retail price. One for the narrow feet though, as it is a foot hugging design in the upper, really set up for 10k racing or perhaps a half marathon for those requiring a more minimal midsole. They don't skimp on the grip though here, don't worry. You won't be disappointed with the durability either. It is pretty on point. I found it more than enough for even more testing trail-like terrains. Loads of sizes available right now, you know what to do. There's one to avoid for you next viewers. That's something I don't often do on the bargain running shoe videos, but I've got to put this one out there. Don't be tempted by the £79 discounted price for the Adi Zero SL from Adidas. Totally overpriced even at that discount deal. The Adios 6 or 7 is a much better shoe and you pay perhaps a little bit more, perhaps even a bit less to get that one. Avoid that Adi Zero SL. It's a bit of a confused shoe really. Just feels firm and generally not very nice to run in. Very sort of plush upper on top of Light Strike and it's a bit of a slab. Does kind of get a a bit better after you use it for a while but there's a mass of other shoes you can buy the great straight out the box so do avoid that adi zero sl i've seen it's already discounted even like a month after release people just aren't going for that one and there's a good reason save your cash for the ladies next if the recently released invincible run 3 from nike isn't really working out for you perhaps you're getting that heel slip that some people are getting or you just don't want to splash out 170 earth credits on a brand new shoe i'd go for the previous version on discount instead that's now available for under a hundred pounds at sportshoes.com amongst other websites lots of sizes available over at sport shoes there's a predominantly white version with red and blue touches very tasteful color sports do have some of these as well though sizing is a little bit patchy now very slightly cheaper though i think if you add on shipping and postage it's pretty much the same price i think the new models are a little bit better there's some subtle improvements there but are they worth 70 pounds? Probably not, actually. I think if your perhaps old pair of Invincibles has come to the end, now's the time to stock up on some V2s. Over at the ASICS outlet website here in the UK, there's loads of discounted pairs of the original Nova Blast. Remember that one? There's a whole variety of sizes here, around about 74 Earth credits, which makes it a very cushioned daily shoe. To be honest, I found the original not really that far off the Invincible run, really, in terms of squash. I think they've kind of made it a little bit firmer with each iteration after that. They've definitely definitely changed the formula there in the midsole of that Nova Blast. Three is quite firm compared to the original. The Black and Marigold version looks the part two, 75 earth credits. Some of the ladies versions are even cheaper at 52 earth credits for the black and pink glow version. Loads of sizes available in that one. Again, ASICS must have just sort of found these in the warehouse or something, putting them out for some great deals. Makes for a superb recovery shoe at that price and quite the different ride to the recently released Nova Blast 3. Last up, I've been on my travels in the local vicinity. There's a TK Max. I just popped in to see if I could find anything. You never know. I found a good deal there with the Adios Pro 2 in lots of sizes for as little as 80 Earth credits. A fantastic carbon plate ratio. It was the cutting edge 
not what, 18 months ago? Now you can pick it up in TK Maxx for a discount on the shelf. Loads of pop from those energy rods and some stability from that heel plate. Can't lose at 80 pounds, so go and check out your local TK Maxx. You never know what you might find. I bet you some Addy Zero SLs pop up in there at some point. That shoe just isn't really hitting the spot for many people at all. Okay, that's all the running shoe deals that I found for the middle of February 2023. If you found some good ones, help the runners and I out down in the comments. A quick musical interlude for you. One of my all-time heroes has got to be Little Richard. The guy with the voice that sounds like a wind turbine. Pretty much all my thumbnails really are inspired by Little Richard. I don't know if you've ever realised that, but... The guy is certainly a big, big hero of mine. One of his albums on the VJ label is called Little Richard is Back. And there's a whole lot of shaking going on. That's the uh, bit in the brackets. And that track starts the album off and... Boy, does he know how to start off an album. It sounds like the microphone can't quite handle Little Richard's power. It's kind of overloading and it just isn't sensitive enough to, <laughs> to take in the energy. His vocal delivery certainly sounds like he's rejuvenated and he's back. I think he'd done a tour in England a little bit before this and that comes across over on the record. He's kind of got renewed vigour and vibe to him. I think it's probably late 60s period so you've got that really funky way out swinging style. Pretty much everything on the album is that kind of vibe. It doesn't let up. It is one of Little Richard's best really. I kind of like the 50s tunes really, especially the mono recordings of Little Richard's tracks. But some of the stuff here is really great too. Slightly better quality about it. So go and check it out. Little Richard is back by Little Richard. Thanks for tuning in people. I hope I saved you a few quid. If I did, give us a super thanks to help keep the channel rolling along. Danke schön. Hit that subscribe button, click the bell below for notifications, also give this video a thumbs up like and share it with your running buddies. My name's Ed Bird and I'll be seeing you.